The Jefferson Project is a collaboration of IBM, RPI, and the Fund to understand the lake as never before with the purpose of protecting it for future generations. And, and more than that, to make this the global model for how you integrate those three elements. How do we apply the very latest technologies, the latest research techniques, and science-based advocacy as a package? How do we do this as a partnership? The Jefferson Project has just completed the most advanced digital mapping of a freshwater body ever done anywhere in the world. All of the partners are committed to it. The more we engage local government officials, business interests, residents of all kinds, and the more they understand the purpose of this project and what it's intended to achieve, the more excitement there is, the more passion there is, the more sense of hope and promise there is that you know what, together we can protect Lake George. Well, I always knew Lake George was special, <laughs> but I'm biased, so, because I grew up here, but, um, you know, I, and, um, you know, I just, I'm just so excited that, you know, like we were chosen for this project because I think that, um, you know, protecting it, you, you know, you do notice over the years slight changes in, in the water quality. My initial reaction was like a little kid. It was exciting as, as the devil. It was fun and really, um, it blew me away. The result blew me away. And then it started to hit home how um, sophisticated this project is and how much data we're collecting. And we have years and years and years of use of it uh, going forward that'll be you know, very valuable. Seeing the detailed underwater mapping of the lake was just absolutely fascinating. Um, I think it's just a, a wonderful uh, a wonderful new insight into how the lake was formed and how the lake uh, currently flows. Uh, I think it'll be a big, uh, an impressive tool for us one day when that information becomes uh, available to all of us. When I took the tour on the substructure boat, I was amazed at the technology that was utilized to put together a mapping of Lake George. And without, without question, this is state-of-the-art, sophisticated technology. And when I heard about the Jefferson Project, I was impressed that there were a group of people, very, very dedicated people, who were willing to invest not only their time, but a significant amount of resources to mapping out the bottom of Lake George and, and trying to benchmark exactly where Lake George is today. If they don't go any farther than the model, it would be tremendous. Uh, I, I think one of the endearing characters of Lake George is it is so beautiful and so world-renowned uh, that we can attract companies like IBM. We have the ability to, to have a company like IBM come here and set up this pilot project. This is the first of what will be many, I'm sure. Well, I was certainly very honored to be asked to, to take a cruise um, on the boat and kind of see what, what everything was about. And I'd heard a lot about the project. Obviously, they, they launched it here at the Sagamore. Um, and it's always been very interesting. So when, uh, when I was approached to take a ride, it's very honored to do so. First of all, it's, uh, this is sort of a, an experiment that hopefully can be replicated all over the world. I mean, you could do this on Lake Como or Lake Tahoe, anywhere. I think the, the science will produce good solutions. I really, really do. But I was very impressed with um, uh, the boat, the technology, and uh, the way they uh, related to, to us and made us feel comfortable and at ease. And when we left, we left with a, a, a greater knowledge of uh, what the Jefferson Project was all about. I've seen studies over the years. Uh, I've got probably 20 of them in the back of me here in the um, bookcase. It's going to be very interesting to me to number one, learn what this data really means and where can we use it best and then what are our priorities going to be and then who's going to run with it. That's our big challenge all the time. How can we get everyone to come to the table and have the same uh, result that we want? 
I think this opens up a great deal of potential to learn a lot of things about the lake that we haven't known in the past. Um, yes, the 30-year report was just released, and the 30-year report gives us a lot of information about Lake George um, over a very long period of time, probably the longest continu continuous record in the history of the country. But there's a lot that we didn't know about Lake George, uh, even when these 30 years of data were compiled. And uh, by, by conducting the Jefferson Project, we will learn about things that weren't studied during the first 30 years. I'm an engineer, I'm a numbers guy, I like data. And uh, so to get a good, thorough snapshot of where is the lake today, uh, it's important for not only addressing where should we go with addressing lake issues tomorrow, but then it gives us a, a baseline to look back at five, ten years from now to, to say, hey, are we making progress the way that we thought? Are we getting the return on our investment um, for whatever effort it may be, whether it's on fertilizers or septic systems or salt runoff from roads, uh, development? I mean, these are all the critical issues that are debated on now, and it's it's easy to debate something ad nauseum when you don't have data. It'd be nice to know exactly what the bottom of the lake really looks like instead of just something you see on a depth gauge. And the few snippets that I did get to see aboard the, um, the vessel showed me graphic within one centimeter accuracy of what portions of the bottom of the lake ac mm -hmm. actually looked like. And uh, yeah, it was, it was, impressive to the point where now I want to see it all.